Hey everybody, welcome to the Sky Lounge Podcast, episode number 116, and as always, thank you so much for joining me today and listening in. If you are new, welcome and check out some of the other episodes on the page. All episodes are available on SoundCloud, iTunes, and Google Music, so make sure you're subscribed so you can get notified for a new episode every Tuesday. Make sure to follow me on YouTube, Instagram, Twitch, Twitter, and Facebook at the Sky Lounge. Stalk me on Snapchat at the A13 IG 5 E U N G. Why not enunciate that shit out? I don't know. I just felt like it. And boys and girls, not gonna lie to you. We haven't done a full podcast in a long time. What I mean by full. Apologize for covering the mic there. What I mean by full is, you know, having all the souse, you know, all the sports talk, all the film talk, all the art talk, all the shit that we need to add up on this. Unfortunately, I've been a lazy cunt, and I know I say this every episode. I feel like I have to reiterate it, though. And really, this is just an excuse, right? It's always an excuse. And, you know, when I say episode one num- number 117 will be full of all the good stuff, you know, it just sounds like words, and I know I gotta improve on this shit. I do. I absolutely do. But, generally what happens is, you know, I get caught up in my own bullshit, and I, I create all these excuses, and then you, I just get in my own head. Get in my own head. And, aptly named episode for today... Agitated amygdala of an absurd aardvark rage cloud. So the amygdala is part of your brain that helps you know your fucking brain coordinate responses to things around your environment, namely emotional responses. Okay, it tucks emotional responses from you, namely fear and anger. Thanks, amygdala. Shout out to the brain. Thanks, brain. I mean, you got the hypothalamus, hippocampus, all this shit, but the amygdala. Responsible for external emotional stimuli, right? Responses to that shit. And the reason why I use the word aardvark here, not just because we're, we're trying to go for alliteration. It's not just that. But it's funny because I actually looked up aardvark, you know, and their, and their behaviors. And straight from, boys and girls, straight from the African Wildlife Foundation's website, Okay, aardvarks, aka the earth pigs, are in nature a little antisocial and even inhospitable. And let me quote you directly from a small paragraph from what they were saying. Aardvarks are mostly solitary mammals and only come together for mating. Even though they are nocturnal, they sometimes come out during the day to sun themselves. Since their eyesight is limited, the aardvark is always cautious when leaving their burrow to forage for termites. You know, I read that, I went through the aardvark page, and I'm not going to lie, I just laughed my ass off. Because I just thought, oh my god, that's me. Holy fucking shit, that aardvarks are just me. And you might be asking yourselves, you know, three minutes into this fucking audio, Sung, what the fuck is wrong with this title? What the fuck is wrong with you? What's going on with you? You have been just skimping on this shit the last month. New year, new bullshit. Yeah, I know. I know. You guys can just come up with all the fucking fun shit you can jab at me with. I don't have an excuse. I don't. And the reason for this weird title, you know, Agitated Amygdala of an Absurd Aardvark Rage Cloud. Because most days, like the Aardvark, I'm just horny. Horny and angry. And, yeah, horny and angry. Or hungry. Come outside of my house for food. I scavenge for food sometimes. I just stay home, eat my own termites, aka order Indian food from Uber Eats. And, you know, most of the times I am very antisocial. I don't really like going out unless I really have to. Unless I plan this shit weeks in advance. Seriously, unless I, sh- unless I really plan shit out weeks in advance, I'm not fucking going anywhere. Okay, no one's going to really fucking make me or force me to go anywhere. Right? And th- this is where, you know, when you read the, you know, when you read the behavior of the aardvark, you kind of get the sense that aardvarks are very against the norm, 
in that sense. And that's why I kind of really do fuck with the aardvark after reading that shit. I really do. Because on any given day, I always bitch about human behavior. I really do. On any given day, I will be a glass half empty about humanity kind of person. I really am. Um, you know, I, I always have this sense of existential <sighs> depression, I guess. And it's just the acceptance of how few, futile, futile our, our lives actually are that, you know, you can't really change anything about that. You really can't because in the vastness that is this space in the universe, we are nothing. So that, that's already an accepted hypothesis for us, right? But when, when I come down to the whole micro level of human behavior and human patterns and all this fucking bullshit, it just drives me nuts. It just drives me nuts. The shit fucking people complain about. The shit people deify. I, I, don't, I don't know what to tell you, boys and girls. The, the fact that people deify celebrities, it's, it's a fucking disaster. It's a fucking disaster. I swear to God, dude. That whole meme of, oh, can we get more likes of eggs than Kylie Jenner's post? Like, this is the stupidest shit. Who fucking cares? Like, what's the fucking point of any of this shit? Well, what, how, how are we going to advance as a society if we fucking prioritize on Kylie Jenner versus an egg on social media? Uh, what the fuck is the point of any of this shit? And, and, and nobody has an answer for me. Nobody has an answer for me. Right? Nobody does. And honestly, for me, it always comes down to the fact of Kylie Jenner doesn't do shit. What the fuck is she famous for? A lot of these fucking people on social media, what the fuck are they famous for? Fame doesn't mean shit. Right? For me, fame is just another word for you're popular. And oftentimes, popularity doesn't mean effective. The best. It doesn't mean any of that shit. It just means that the casuals or a good amount of people like it. And what do we always say, boys and girls? People are shit. I always say this. I always emphasize this shit. And whenever I talk to people about this, obviously, nobody really wants to hear the negative Nancy guy. They don't. They really don't. But I always I always like to cherry on top that with some other shit, right? Like, you know, listen. Everybody has a capability of doing great things, but majority of people won't do shit because they're normal, lazy pieces of shit. And oftentimes, yeah, you'll get sick of me hearing, you know, talking about that, but that's not going to change your reality, right? Like, you're not going to (laughs) change. I mean, most people, they just don't. They don't believe in change. They don't believe in revolution. They don't believe in self-improvement. And the whole reason why, the whole reason why I point out human flaws, the whole reason why I make sure negative 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 things are brought to light is for improvement is for betterment is for asking rational questions about certain things it's about common discourse among the normal people like why can't we just have a fucking conversation about some shit without just black and white garbage why why can't we just have a nice little gray area of like yeah hey, you know what the fuck what the fuck is going on i don't know I'm all over the place right now. I am. And this is where the agitated amygdala comes in. It's a lot of frustrating fucking shit that clouds up your head. You have no answers to this shit. And then I just go back to my little hole, burrow myself, and just eh, eat my termites like an aardvark. This is my daily exercise. This is my daily mental exercise that I do every fucking day. You know? I'll get into it with somebody. Somebody close. Or somebody just like random on the internet. You know, they'll like I'll say some shit. They'll respond with some shit. And I'll be like, yeah, what the fuck, dude? Whatever. Like, whatever. Most of the times when I'm on any of these social media platforms, I flat out tell everybody, listen, this is a comedy page. This is a joke page. Right? I don't need your responses. I really don't. Most most people, I don't need your responses. Because your responses don't matter. It doesn't further the argument. It doesn't actually do anything. Like most people on the internet, you know what you do? You're just trolling. Oh, I'm important. Like, no, dude, this isn't about you. Trust me. It is not about you. Like people who comment on comment pages for likes and popularity, here's are fucking losers. Like, 
I don't know how many times I have to say this shit, right? You go on someone's social media page. <clears throat> I post shit on YouTube all the time, right? And so you got that one guy. Just, oh, you suck. Like, ah, dude. Okay, great. What are you going to get from this? Are you, are you jerking yourself off right now? Like, yeah, I'm right. Yeah. Oh. What the fuck is the point? When I lay some shit, just, you can ignore it. That's my whole thing. I say this shit all the time, guys. Listen, if you don't like it, you can leave. You can absolutely leave. I have no complaints. I don't. <clears throat> I got a lot of complaints, actually, about life. But I treat myself like the crazy person on the bus. I say a lot of crazy shit. I say some weird, fucked up shit. I say some shit that might be unpopular. But guess what, motherfucker? You don't got a lesson. That's the whole fucking thing. And this is where the agitation comes in, the frustration, the anger. Because people don't understand that this is a one-way street, motherfucker. I am God. And y'all nothing. That is just horseshit. Like, oh my God. <laughs> Why would you end it like that? I don't know. You, I have a flair for the dramatics. This is kind of what I do. And every day we do, we do, you know, stray further from God. I mean, I, I, I do love that meme. I'm not going to lie. But there is some funny parody-like truth to it. Humanity is a cesspool, right? It's a cesspool of failures and stupidity. And really, I've, I've said this so many times. I'm going to be the angry old man always talking about social media and how much is a fucking funhouse mirror. Absolute garbage. And people won't change. People won't change. You know? Tomorrow, I'm still going to do the same shit. I'm still going to make fun of all these things that I observe, that I see in this world. And I'm going to digest it in my humor, in my sense, uh, in my sense of digesting material and spitting it back out in humor. And understandably, not everyone's going to get into that shit. Not everyone is. I use these platforms to just jumble off my ideas and just let shit spread out. I don't expect everyone to listen. I don't expect anyone to listen, to be honest. If I'm going to be fucking honest with you, I don't expect anyone to listen to this shit most days. I really don't. But like I talked about yesterday on the cruise perus and other cruise perus and other episodes, one fucking person listens. If one fucking person drives by or sits down for five minutes and listens, fuck. That's validation for me. I'm going to keep this shit going. So, you know, as much as I berate the society, I'm... And, I'm benefiting off of the society that I'm berating so much. So it's a weird oxymoron, boys and girls. But I get to live in it. This is my reality. This is our reality. And honestly, just make the fucking best of it, right? Ultimately, guys, people are a fucking mess. And we figure out our own shit at our own pace. That's what humans do. That's what America does. America. Screaming like a maniac. But guys, next week on the Sky Lounge, I'm doubling down on the next episode, bitches. Seriously, lots of sauce, lots of bullshit. Episode number 117 will be out January 17th. Ha! Double 17, 1717, let's go! So, all right, folks. Thank you so much for joining me this week. Make sure you're subscribed on SoundCloud, iTunes, and Google Music for a new episode every Tuesday. Make sure to follow me on YouTube, Instagram, Twitch, Twitter, and Facebook at the Sky Lounge. Stalk me on Snapchat at DA13IG5UNG.